Christian Placido, CPS Boxing News, over here one of the champs from Kazakhstan, Madijar, how you doing, how's everything? Хорошо, сейчас чуть отдохнул, полгода сейчас начал тренироваться. Думаю, в конце декабря и в начале года уже буду сто процентов уже готов. Everything is good. He got a little rest, and at the end of the at the end of December he's going to continue boxing. Sure. Tell us why is the reason that you here, you know. Я приехал поддержать и того, и другого парня, потому что Шабранский тоже мой друг, и Ковалев он тоже. Вместе мы команда. Сергей Ковалев у нас одна команда, менеджер один и промоутер один. So he came here to support his friends. Both of them are his friends. They um, they train at the same team. They have same manager. So he came here for both of them. Awesome. Um, ask him like. You know, what does he think that the, from the last fight uh, when we saw Triple G and Canelo? Who saw as a winner on that fight? Okay. Uh, so everyone who knows the boxing, they understand that it's all about business, and he thinks that Golov um, GGG won definitely at least six or seven rounds, and uh, they made it a draw um, to make more money. Yeah. So do you think that in you know on 2000 you know 18 is gonna happen on May that fight again or? Canelo is going to avoid it, you know, to face Triple G. Golden Boy Oscar De La Hoya said in 2018, the 5th of May, there will be a revenge. If the revenge will be, in my opinion, if the revenge will be, if the revenge will be, then the revenge will be, because it's a business for him. It's a Golden Boy show. Okay, so he knows that in 2018 there is going to be a fight on May 5th, and he thinks it's going to happen, and definitely Triple G is going to win. And if not, then you know, we'll see. Well, you know, in my opinion, I would say that it's going to be a tough fight, but I guess Triple G will come, you know, totally different than the first fight because I don't think he's going to let you know, you know, that chance and go after many rounds. But I mean, I'm pretty sure that you know it's going to be a good fight. Tell us, like, how does he see this fight right now? Cobb is going to be, like, you know, one of those fights that is going to bring, you know, excitement or, you know, like, it's going to be explosive. How, how, do, how does he see that fight? Well, he, does, he doesn't want to see the future, he doesn't want to just guess it, because both of them are his friends and he's supporting both of them, so he doesn't really know, he doesn't want to take sides. Oh, that, that's good, that's good. Ask him when we're going to see him, you know, fight again in the ring, when is his next fight? Сегодня промоутерами говорил, они говорят в конце декабря или в начале января на следующий год. So he spoke to his promoters today and they told him that it's going to happen at the end of December or at the beginning of January. Oh, definitely. That, that's, I'm pretty sure that's going to be one of those fights that he, he always brings excitement to the fans. And I know, you know, from, you know, as a Kazakhstan fighter, you know, definitely he's going to put everything, you know, like showing kind of that, you know, type of style because I know that Roger Romo is in his corner and he always, you know, bring, you know, definitely also Mexican style too, so.
Yeah, so he's saying, he's saying thank you for supporting me, and yes, I kind of do a little Mexican stuff. <laughs> nah, you're welcome, man. Actually, like, you know, where does he have a page where all the fans can follow him, you know, so, you know, definitely he, they could be in contact with him, you know, like, seeing, you know, his, you know, like, the, the story that, you know, he's, you know, doing in his life. Uh, Instagram, Facebook. Insta Instagram, Madia Rashkev, and uh, Facebook too, uh, Madia Rashkev, and YouTube, uh, Madia Rashkev. Oh. All right, thanks again, uh, champion. We're wishing you. you the best. Good luck, all right? Thank you.